Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. This is the week of October 11th, 2021. And this week we get four topics. The first one is an update on this young girl that is flying uh, across the world, around the world, and we'll give you an update, that's Fly Zolo. We'll give you an update on the new Cessna citations that were announced this week at the NBAA meeting. We'll talk about a virtual cockpit or virtual co-pilot app that you can download uh, for your phone, which is pretty cool. And lastly, we'll talk about some GPS jamming that's going on right now in the southwest of the United States, and it's creating uh, quite a bit of issues. So let's get to it. First thing this week is an update on Fly Zolo. She is flying, she took off from Belgium. We talked about her in the past and she's doing this trip ac across the world. Uh, this is a, a young lady from uh, Belgium. And uh, right now it looks like she is in Alaska. She stopped for some maintenance. The website said they had to change the flux capacitor. So hopefully uh, she can get back on track and get going again. The next stop for her is Russia, then South Korea, Taiwan, uh, the Philippines, Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, and then heading back towards um, Western Europe where she's going to finish her trip uh, in, um, in Belgium. Coming from NBAA this week, um, two new citation from uh, Textron Aviation, Citation M2 and a Citation XLS. The M2 is going to be a Generation 2 aircraft with seven seats, wireless charging on board, which is kind of an interesting to mention, uh, new styling options, a range of 1,550 nautical miles, which is pretty big, and then that comes equipped with the Garmin G3000 avionics. The XLS is a little bit larger, 12 passengers. It has a Collins Aerospace uh, avionics, and then a new cabin seating, some immersive speakers inside of the cabin to make it look uh, nice and comfy, and then a range of 2,100 nautical miles. Uh, no pricing information, I think, at this stage, but uh, we'll keep you posted and make sure you take a look at these pictures. These are really, really cool aircraft. Next thing is a co-pilot app. This is coming from Myra Check Virtual. That's the name of the app. And uh, this is a uh, this is a co-pilot app that's designed to help you with CRM, crew resource management, and making decisions. This can be used in conjunction with other apps, and it's essentially, if you think about it, it's like Siri for pilots. It's gonna be able to be prompted in flight, and it's gonna have the ability to run your checklist uh, for you and, and play them in your, uh, in your headphones as a voice command. It's gonna have the ability to do flight planning, emergency procedures in case something happens. So it's an AI type of thing that's gonna help you during flight. Uh, this is, I think, something that's really interesting. Uh, when I did my master's degree, I did it in aviation human factors, and I uh, studied something called adaptive automation. And what it was is it was, well, back then, it was something really that belonged in the future, but I feel like we're getting closer and closer where uh, this automation would adapt to the pilot needs. And as the pilot was getting more and more overwhelmed, then the automation would turn on or off depending on the need of the situation. So this feels like it's uh, probably getting into that direction, which is really cool. At the moment, it's something that's prompted from you using voice command, and that's gonna talk to you in your headset. So really cool tech. Last story this week is GPS jamming is currently going on in the Southwest of the United States. And that's been causing apparently some uh, issues. And we see some ASRS reports, those are the uh, NASA reports. And uh, one of the reports said, we've been told we can't ask to stop jamming and to just put everyone on a heading. This is coming from a controller, essentially saying, well, uh, we have to go back to the old ways of navigating because GPS is no longer available. Um, this can be an issue because a lot of people more and more are relying on GPS, more and more are trained on using GPS and not necessarily using uh, VOR technology or other technology that's available out there. So this is a good reminder, always have a backup, okay? Uh, but if you're operating in IFR and IMC, make sure that you check the NOTAMs to find out if there's GPS jamming going on in your location. So that's all I have this week. Like, subscribe, leave your comments, and I'll see you guys next week.